Okay. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So today we learn about fraction operations. You can see I am writing one, two, three, four, five. I have not yet finished writing five. I have write. I have written five signs: equal sign, addition, mu-、uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we will learn about the fa- four operations. And plus equivalent fraction, and that's what we are going to cover through this class. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so first we do equivalent fraction. Okay. Okay. Each time we do three problems. The first, a half. A half is two over four. It can be three over six. Can be four over eight. Can be five over ten. Can be one hundred over two hundred. Can be two thousand over four thousand. Ding 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 ding. There is no end. There are many 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 numbers can be the same as this half. Because four, two out of four is half, three out of six is half. All this is half. Okay, we say another number, two over five. It could be four over ten. It could be six over fifteen. It could be twenty over fifty. It could be forty. Over one hundred, it could be many more numbers, and they are equivalent. I will show you why they are equivalent. You see, on the top we time two, on the bottom we time two, makes four over ten. On the top we time three, on the bottom we time three, becomes. Six over fifteen. So when the bottom and the top, which denominator and numerator expand at the same rate, at the same proportion, the fraction is equivalent. Which, in simple term, you time a number on top. You have to time the same number on the bottom. If you time a number on the bottom, you have to time exactly the same number on top, just like that. The third one.、Mm-hmm. The shall we make a difficult number? Okay, forty-nine, and on top we do a five. Five over forty-nine. We both time.、Uh, Two, okay. On top we time two. The numerator becomes ten. On bottom we time two. The denominator becomes ninety-eight. Both time ten. Fifty over four hundred ninety. Da 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 da. Both time a hundred. Both time a thousand. They are equivalent. They are equivalent, so we can see that equivalent fraction is a cluster of so 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 many numbers. It could be one thousand. It could be one million. It could be one gazillion. It could be a Google, a Googleplex. So many numbers, collection of all these numbers together. Each one can be infinite. So, how can we do math if they are there are so many numbers, right? So we can find out one number that is the simplest. So we introduce another concept that is called simplest fraction.
no s. Simple list fraction because it's the simplest. It's the most the most. It's the impossibly most simple. No, no identical. No other things is the same. So there is only one and only one. So simplest fraction. <clears throat> okay. The first two thousand over four thousand. On top, we divide. One thousand becomes two. Divide one thousand. If on top we divide one thousand, on the bottom we have to be to divide exactly the same number to divide one thousand becomes four. Oh, two and four, we can both divide two. So becomes one over two. Can we still divide? No, this is already one. One is the smallest number in a whole number. Fraction is about whole number. On top have to be whole number. On bottom have to be whole number. It's one, two, three, four, five. Any number that you can count with your complete fingers with a complete thing. Okay, so. Half. This is tada simplest fraction. Okay, uh, another one. We have fifty、uh, five over five hundred. So when we see this on top, fifty five. The fifty-five is the multiple of five and eleven. So how about we divide five? And if we divide five on top, on bottom, which number should we divide? Yes, five. Exactly the same number. So it becomes eleven over one hundred. So this is the simplest fraction. Can we find any number that we can? We can divide, and、uh, is divisible by eleven and one hundred. No, we cannot find. So this is the simplest fraction. Okay, the third one, twenty-seven、uh, divided by twenty-seven over eighty-one. Hmm. Oh, I kind of know it. Two plus seven is nine. Eight plus one is nine. So these these two numbers both can be divided by nine. Now let's divide by nine. Divide by nine. Twenty-seven divided by nine is three. Eighty-one divided by nine is nine. Oh oh. I think I can still keep on doing three. Can be divided by three, same as nine. Can be divided by three is one over three. Can we keep further dividing? This is already one. No, no way. This is the simplest fraction. So the rule of thumb: you make. A fraction into the simplest, you have to try to divide on top and on bottom the same number, exactly the same number. If you cannot find exactly the same number to divide, then you can go back home to have fun, to play a game. That will be the simplest fraction. When you can divide by the same number, keep on dividing until you cannot divide any further. This is the simplest fraction.